This is SDR News and Geekazine.com's coverage of Microsoft Management Summit brought to you by HP. HP Storage Guy Calvin Zito continuing coverage from Microsoft Management Summit 2013. We're here in Las Vegas and joining me now is Prissa Mohammadi. Prissa, you I've probably been at HP about as long as I have, because I remember first bumping into you in uh, probably the 90s when I used to come to Cupertino yep. a lot. So how, how long have you been at HP for? Since Okay. Yep. Uh, so we're both, both long timers here, but <laughs> now you're in storage and yes. your focus is on Microsoft solutions. And That's correct. So give us an idea of what you do, what, what, what type of solutions are you focused on? Sure, so I basically uh, work on Microsoft solutions such as Exchange SQL, Windows Server 2012 and Hyper-V 2012. And um, I basically look at our uh, storage portfolio and draw the highlights of our portfolio as it relates to these applications and uh, operating systems. Yep. So that's what I do. So I know there's a new uh, reference architecture around Hyper-V and uh, mm -hmm. our, our, some of our new three-par store serve products, particularly the 7400. First, what, what is that reference architecture and what, what can the sure. customer do with a reference architecture? Okay, so reference architectures are really um, powerful tools for customers. Usually um, they want to, let's say, they want to virtualize their Windows Server environment, but they don't know where to start. So reference architectures provide you with a build of material. What kind of things, what kind of components do you need to build this solution? It tells you what the solution is, it tells you what the benefit is, and then it goes into what the details behind the solution is. In addition, it also highlight specific details around um, you know our storage features that would contribute to the strength of that solution yeah. so that's why um, reference architectures are used uh, extensively with uh, our customers so it sounds a lot to me like it's very similar to a recipe book to, you know you open a recipe book tells you how much of everything you need and here's all the steps to to, to make the cake that you're gonna make exactly yeah it's, okay. it's pretty much like that yeah so we kind of briefly mentioned that there was a new RA tell me mm -hmm. what, what's the new RA the reference architecture that we're so this reference architecture is for those customers who are running a Windows Server 2012 environment and they have they're considering virtualizing their environment with Hyper-V and um, the so I want to step back a little bit and um, the question may come back why would a customer even want to virtualize a Windows Server environment so there are many benefits to virtualization one is you know you want to save on your hardware cost you want to um, consolidate your workloads into fewer physical resources so that's one one uh, benefit of virtualization Another is um, if you want, if you're really keen on business continuity, you want always on access to your mission critical data, virtualization is yet another benefit. And finally, you want some flexibility in your data center. You know, we know businesses change all the time. There are more demands on um, storage. There's more demands on servers. By virtualizing, you provide that flexibility. So the point of this reference architecture is to actually highlight those and say, well, why you want to virtualize, and then go into why HP 3 Store StoreServe can help you do that. So tell me a little bit more about the, the reference architecture. It takes advantage of some of the new, the, you just mentioned, 3 Par, the new StoreServe 7000s. What, yes. what What's the new reference architecture? Um, so this new reference architecture talks about um, particular features of the 3 part source of 7000. So 3 part source of 7000 is the first quad node mid-range um, storage platform and it basically brings all the tier one um, features into a mid-range package, you know, around 40,000K. So the, the things to remember about um, 3 part source of 7000 that the RA actually highlights is that, you know, it is effortless, meaning that it takes a lot of, it, it, basically it takes all the management steps out and you can easily configure and it's all because of the autonomic features of the solution. So yeah, I think one, so of the, one of the points I think we've talked about is it's like 90% easier to manage because of the... 90% easier because it self-configures, it self-provisions, it self-optimizes, so everything yeah. um, all in one. It's also efficient and so what that means is that we, um, it's guaranteed that 50% of your storage costs will be taken out and that is through our tiering technologies, our advanced tiering and also you know basically all the adaptive optimization features that are in the, in the product and then um, it is also we call it bulletproof because it as I mentioned before it brings all the tier one features into enterprise features into a mid-range package you can double your virtual machine density this is very important because mm -hmm. we're talking about a hyper-v environment with your hyper-v VMs you can double the density on the three part source of 7000 and for people that maybe haven't heard us talk about that when we say double your VM density. That means if you have a, an array today, 
with running, say, let's just pick a number, 100 VMs, that we can configure a system that will get you to run with the same type of system. With, with a three par, yeah. we'll get you to 200. 200 VMs. So with the same type of capacity, you don't, you're not, we're not having to you buy double the hardware of what you have today. But, right. But really a comparable three par system that can, because of what we do with wide striping and all the features. Yes. Yes, okay. exactly. Well, there's, there's a lot of detail on my blog that if you wanted to learn more about 3PAR and how some of these things that we're talking about, there's mm -hmm. a lot of detail there. So head over to my uh, blog at uh, hp.com forward slash storage forward slash blog. Just search 3PAR or store serve and you'll see a ton of content around that and you can learn more if you want yes. more of that detail. Yes. So uh, management is key to a virtualized environment. Tell me about how this RA and addresses how we, you know, the whole management environment. Sure. So, you know, one of the things that um, customers always think about when they virtualize their environment is, well, you've made my um, uh, configuration even more complex. So that means it's harder to manage it. So then what do we do to simplify that management? We have two key areas that we've worked with Microsoft on um, around System Center 2012. So one of them is we have the three-part SMIS providers that would plug into the System Center Virtual Machine Manager, or SCVMM for short, mm -hmm. and it would basically help you uh, create your Hyper-V clusters, it provisions storage, and it just makes it really easy to manage your Hyper-V clusters. And then another area, a second area, is our integration with System Center Operations Manager, or SCOM for short. And that way you can um, predefine some uh, monitoring policies and um, event rules and tasks. So it just makes it really easy just from one console to manage your entire Hyper-V environment, including storage. Right. So I'm sure there's, I f almost feel like we should have done two parts here because I think there's a lot more to talk about, but mm -hmm. I know there's other solutions you manage. You know, we've talked about Exchange and SQL. Mm -hmm. Is, are there other either reference architectures or other things you think we should talk about here? Yeah, well, I, I'd like to actually mention our um, recently published Exchange Solution Review Program uh, results, which is ESRP for short. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was based on, again, the three-part source of 7,000. It's a really impressive result. 60,000 users, two gigabyte mailboxes, and with a heavy workload. Meaning that if you are a company with you know 60,000 users and you your users are using two gigabyte mailboxes, which a lot of us do, mm -hmm. um, and you have a very heavy workload, this particular system can actually um, provide the best database transfers, meaning email sends and um, transfers very quickly. Well, I haven't, I haven't seen the comparison to what other people have, but when you just tell me 60,000 mailboxes, mm -hmm. two, gigabyte, two gigabytes each, yep. and we're running this on a, on a, on a mid-range platform right. that starts at 40K, yep. that's pretty dang impressive. Exactly. And it you know again and a lot of customers may may buy this and they don't have 60,000 users but the fact that you can actually grow um, you have the headroom to do that. Right. And then, of course, with the 7400, they could actually start with a two-node system if they wanted to and at some yep. point if they want to scale higher, they can go to a four-node system. Exactly. Yep. Great. Well, is there going to be more uh, published data that we'll see about around the ESRP yes, results? Yes. Um, so we have um, another, um, in Silverson Consulting, we'll be bringing um, an analysis of these results, yep. and then we're going to compare it to all the other competitive results out there. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, and the other thing I'm going to commit myself to is, I, in fact, is yesterday we were at uh, NAB, and I bumped into Ray, and I told mm -hmm. him, we, I want to do a, a podcast or a webinar or a webcast or something with you after you publish your paper. So we're actually uh -huh. planning to do something with him after he publishes his oh, paper. Great. So. Keep watching the hp.com forward slash storage forward slash blog, my blog, and we'll, we'll, we'll give you more information about when we do that. Yep. Anything else that we should uh, mention? Um, oh, just um, that we, we keep um, looking at the websites for more um, reference architectures. We already have reference architectures on SQL Server 2012 um, for old TP environments. So customers running old TP environments can again take advantage of a lot of the features that 3PAR offers. So, so what's that website what where people can see that um, information? So if you go to um, www.hp.com slash um, storage slash windows, you can see all of that information there. Great. Well, Prissa, good catching up with you yes. here at uh, Microsoft Management Summit, and thanks for the time today. Thank you for your time.